I'm Lee. And I'm Olivia. And today we're going to be teaching you guys how to do a wave friendship bracelet. So this is a little more of an advanced friendship bracelet. We're going to be following a pattern. So the things you should know how to do already, and there's other YouTube videos online that you can find to learn how to do them, are basic forward knots and backward knots. So I'll probably call them right and left knots. So forward, right backwards left. So you're gonna need two colors of friendship bracelet string, one for the wave and one for the background. And you're gonna need three pieces of string for the wave color and five pieces of string for the background color. And the first thing you need to do after you cut your string is tie a knot at the top and get a clipboard to attach it to. So we printed this pattern off from online and we'll link the pattern down below or put this picture up somewhere. Um, but you can see, so we did blue for our B color, which is the darker one, and white for our A color. So there's three white strings and five blue strings. And this is the number of like rows of knots that you're going to do this way. So we have 12 before you start over. So 12 rows are going to make one wave. And so you're going to start by putting them in this order. So And then the knots are shown by the arrows. So for example, for this one, the knot is gonna be a right knot and then a left knot. So that way the white string goes over the blue one, as you can see by the white circle. And you start with a right knot to get the white string on the right. And then you do a left knot to get it onto the left. So basically you need to change the order every time it tells you to. So if we look at this one, that's a blue knot because it's a blue circle over a white string so you're going to do a left knot and then a right knot because it's left right and you want the blue to end up on the right so i finished row one and now i have my strings all laid out in the right order again um, and you can check this by looking at the strings order on the next row to make sure that you have it all correct um, this row is a little bit different because as you can see on the ends, they're not going to be making a knot until the third row. So you want to just pull out both ends basically. Um, so the next knot is going to be blue, a left knot over white. So. And if you mess up, that's okay. Um, especially at the beginning, you won't really notice it. And then like by the time you've done like one, you'll kind of get the groove better. And if you need to, you can even print a bunch of these and every time you do a wave, cause it's kind of hard to see, you can cross off. So I would cross off row one and row two because I did them both. And now I'm going on to row three. So now I'm just gonna continue following the pattern. I'm on row three and hopefully it'll turn out like a wave. Thank you. 